Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In the previous videos we have seen how we can add icons in our Angular application. There will be scenarios where you need to use different colors for different icons. In this video, let's see how we can change the color of Angular material icons. By default, when you add icon using mat icon open and end tag in your application, icon will be of black color. Angular material provides three more predefined color palettes for all UI components which can be used in your application. The first one is primary palette. Primary palette is the basic color and it is a color that appears most frequently throughout your application. If you open any website or application, you might have seen this one as a common color in those applications or websites. And the second palette is Accent. This palette is used to selectively highlight key parts of your UI based on your requirements. In scenarios where you want to highlight some of the icons, at those times you can use this icon in your application. And another color palette which is available is Warn. This is a palette which mostly used for any warnings or error states which can be shown in your applications. Suppose if you are adding icons based on different status, in those scenarios you can make use of this one, where for example if any state is in pending or delayed in those conditions, you can make use of this warn icon and show this one. Basically these three colors can be used based on your requirements. To use these colors, let's go to code editor. Currently I have one single matte icon here. Let me copy this one and make it three icons. To use these different color palettes, you need to mention the attribute as color and within the double quotation, you need to mention which color palette you want to use in your application. To use primary color, you need to mention as primary. Similarly, to use accent, you need to mention as accent within the double quotation. And to use warn, you need to mention as warn word within this double quotation mark. Now save the file and go back to browser to check the style. Now you can observe three different color icons have been added in our application. These are the three color options which are available in Angular material. If we need colors other than these three, we can use the CSS and add colors to the icons. So let's see that one as well, how we can add that one in our application. So let's go back to code editor, copy this icon for our custom icon color. To define our own colors for these icons, you can make use of CSS style and within this one mention the color. Here you can mention RGB, exact code or particular letter of that color. Here I will be using hexadecimal code 960B0B. This is a color for maroon. Now save the file and go back to browser to preview it. Now you can observe another icon with the color which we have defined using CSS that has been added into our application. So Angular material comes with three primary color palettes. You can make use of those three palettes in your application. And if you want any custom color, then you can use the CSS and define your own color for that particular icon. So these are the two ways by which you can add icons color to your Angular material icon. That's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.